Well, welcome back, everybody. It's me, Jesus D. Back in Long Gone Days. Chapter 2. Uh, this is not where we're supposed to go. Last time we got swindled. Almost got swindled, and then I beat them down. Uh, now we gotta go and rest our weary heads. How am I doing for our health and all that? Yeah, we are okay. So I guess this is the joint. Hostel. Gotta save, uh, save Raven, not save Crow. Save progress, yes please. Save kill. Your progress has been saved. Hello. Hello. Hey, why are you in such a good mood? Foreign tourist. Hey, where are you from? I want to meet people from all over the world. Uh... We'll just say we came from... No, because if she says Russia... If we say Russia, we'll say America. Because we're speaking English to them. So, But they'll be disappointed. Oh, you're just an American. I'm American. Oh, me too! Which state? I've been trying to place your accent. Aw, oh, crap. Uh, I, uh, I moved a lot. Yeah. Tomorrow I'll visit the museum with some friends. Yeah, because if we said Russia, she would have been like, Uh, you don't sound Russian. And if I said, I don't know, she'd be like, um, get out of here, creep. There's a newspaper over there. I don't know if, ooh, well, uh, no, I can't get it, but there's a laptopy. I should leave this alone. It's a big pile of luggage. I should leave it alone. Hello. Hey, hey, hey! We have to go to the casino. It's our last day! Are you sure? I heard it's kind of dangerous. People say that about every popular place. I'm sure it's not like that. Alright, alright. I wonder how many days I can... They're showing the weather forecast for the next few days. I wonder how long we'll be here. What? And... I don't want to talk to you just later. Let me go... Hey, you can't go... Hey, you can't just go in there. You have to check in first. Oh, check in. It says 12 best things to do in Kill. Kill? Kel? Kill? And there are some pictures of a museum. Some buildings and... Is that a submarine? Still a little sick. I blame everybody at work. Somebody got me sick there. Hello. Wait here a bit. I'll take care of this. Is it really okay for us to trust her? I don't know. She seems nice. I don't care. I just want this. She seems nice. I don't know. She seems nice. Way too nice. Adair, you're overthinking this. Besides, what's the point of discussing this now? You told every, you told her everything already. Guys, come here, please. So they do have some rooms left. The only downside is that it's only two people per room, so you'll have to split into two groups. I'm fine with that. It shouldn't be a problem, right? It's already more than we could ask for. Now, if you want, you can go directly to your rooms, or I can stick around for a bit. Ma'am! I guess it's up to me to choose how we split up. Really? Checkout is at 11, so I'll come pick you up around the ta that time to continue the interview, okay? Are you going outside, or should we call it a day? Go somewhere else. Oh, okay. I hope there's TV. I need to clear my head for a bit. Oh, I can choose who to go with? Ah, it's okay, don't worry. When Addy mentioned a hostel, I expected something a lot smaller. Go with Ivan. Go somewhere else. 
Sure, no problem. Uh, let's get out of here. Am I by myself out here? No, I got my peeps. Is she still in there though? No, 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 no. Okay. So there's nothing else for me to do, I'm quite sure. Let me check my quest. Uh, Germany. Around the city for a lost dog poster. Where's that? For a computer password. After meeting the ticket seller. Yeah, we were ambushed. Paint. See, Jesus. Uh, lost keys. Someone in the nightlife district lost some very important keys. Uh, can we check that out? It's the nightlife, yo. We gotta check out the city nightlife. Ain't nobody here. She gone. She did. Maybe. Not really. She ran away. Bust that ass. Mofos. Uh, we can't take the subway. And I don't think anything different is going on here. So we should just go. We should sleep. I'm pretty sure I'm not missing out on anything. Okay. Who do I want to go to? Wait, can I go by myself? I shouldn't go there. Who do I want to go with? Adair, Ivan, or Lynn? Let's see. We know more about Ivan from the other uh, chapter. So I don't want to go with you because we know a lot about you already. I've been with you for a while. I want to pick Lynn. Because I need to know what her story is about. I hope there's a TV. I need to clear my head for a bit. Go with Lynn. Me? Why? I mean, I don't mind. I just thought you'd go with someone else. How did you get into the freedom fighting? Shh. I can't believe they're letting us stay here. I would have been fine with just a pillow and a blanket. Hey! Hey, Rourke! Do you want to watch TV with me? One of my favorite shows is on. Uh, sure. What are you watching? Well, it's a cartoon, but I swear it's good. <sniffs> Lynn already seeming awesome already. What is a cartoon? Um, what's a cartoon? And why are their heads so big? Wow, you've never watched one of these? All right, let's watch it together. Experiencing new things. So, what is this thing about? It's about these three friends who just graduated from high school and the problems they have trying to find a career, a job, or even a place to live. Sounds like anime-ass slice-of-life shit to me and I like it. Sounds interesting. Doesn't sound very fun, I can see that. And you like that? Watching other people's lives? Sounds pretty interesting. Slice of life. I like Slice of Life. Well, it's still one of my favorite shows after all. There's more to it than that. What I liked about it the most is that the characters were pretty relatable. I think even you could find something in common, Rourke. Eh? What could I have in common with that one on the screen? That's Kate, the protagonist. She always wanted to be a musician and her family and, fr and friends supported her from the beginning. But as soon as she started, she realized that it wasn't as easy as she thought. Despite all her efforts, she kept failing, accumulating debt, getting part-time jobs, and trying again. Personally, I don't know where she got the strength to get up so many times, but when she finally managed it, I cried my eyes out. I can't imagine you crying. So they let her choose what she wanted to be? Wait, so they let her choose what she wanted to be? Yeah, Kate's parents always believed in her. Choosing what you'd like to do for the rest of your life sounds like a huge responsibility. I would surely have made a very bad decision back then. But I think we can both agree that not having a choice at all is way worse, right? 
There's another character in the series who's just like that. I think this one would could resonate a bit with more with you. Could resonate a bit more with you. Her name is Emily. Just like Kate, Emily also knew from a very young age that she wanted to be a writer. Why are these in yellow text? Kate is wait 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 wait. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back. I wanted to get a pen and paper. I don't know if this is going to be important. It's in yellow text. So, I just want to make sure that I got my bases covered. Maybe there'll be tri trivia or something. But she didn't get to choose. Her parents wanted her to run the family business. Thanks to her job, she had a stable income. She got herself an apartment, a car, and she could buy anything she wanted, but she didn't feel complete. She wasn't happy. Can't she just quit her job? Can't she just quit her job? She can, but she doesn't dare face her parents. Luckily, her friends convince her that although her current job assures her economic stability, it is better to prove by herself whether or not she can make a living as a writer. Does she succeed? Well, the series ends a little after that, but Emily, Emily looks way happier after quitting. To be honest, that's enough closure for me. Okay, Emily is the musician, and Kate is the writer. Switch that up on my paper. Alright, let's go. Let's do this. Tell me about the third person. The ending is open-ended, but I think it's more realistic that way. Yeah, but I think having an uncertain future makes it hard to enjoy things sometimes. Maybe I'm just too impatient. Rook, what do you plan to do after we're done this whole thing? Uh, I don't know. I guess I'd do normal civilian stuff? Maybe I'd watch these cartoons. Jeez, I feel like I'm talking to a robot. <laughs> uh, uh, Alright, enough about me. Which character is more like you? My favorite is Alex. So, okay, we got Alex on deck. Let me write that down, Alex. Tell me about Alex. Alex. Unlike her two friends, she had no idea what to do with her life after graduating. Nothing really seemed to interest her. By the time her friends had figured out what to do with their lives, she was deep in debt after dropping out of college twice and never lasted more than a month on the same job. At some point, she was about to give up on trying to fix her life until she finds a stray cat. Stray cat! Yellow text, stray, stray cat. Stray ass cat. I got it. I got it. All right. This cat becomes a reason to improve. To start again. Sounds a bit sad. Wait. Why do you even relate to that? Am I the stray cat? Uh, well, I don't mean to overshare, but... I'm a bit of a mess myself. I never went to college. No way, you don't need to go to college. I started traveling, looking for something to do, you know? That's how I ended up in Germany and later in Kaliningrad. But I haven't even gotten a job since I started living with Vanya. Do you really need one? A job? Yeah, I've been living for a free for almost a year, but I just couldn't bring myself to look for one. To be honest, what we're doing right now, this is the first time in years that I have felt like my life has a purpose. There's finally something I want to do with my life, something I can be proud of. Even though we're doing something extremely dangerous, I'm thankful I got to be a part of it. We are lucky to have you on the team, Lynn. As long as we are convinced of what we are doing, I think we'll make it. 
Of course we'll make it. That morale, y'all. Got it. Hey, by the way. Yes? It's getting pretty late. We should try and get some sleep. All oh, right. Let's talk more tomorrow. Stray Cat Keychain? Whoa! Depending on who you pick, you get an item? Please, let this be luck. Stray Cat sounds like a luck thing to me, right? Or maybe it's agility. Who has luck? Zoe, are you still up? You left so early today, what are you up to? You know, same thing I'm always working on. Been working on this story for a couple of months now. I think I'm almost done with it. Her apartment's way better than the other one. Oh no, this is better because she has a separate room. Unless she's just in one room. Oh, so you kept working on that after all? But our editor said... Look, Adie. You keep saying you want to report real news and get away from those meaningless scoops. You even got excited when those people from Kaliningrad told you their story. But when I told you about this investigation, you just brushed it aside. Uh... I do care, Zoe. It's just that I don't want to get in trouble. You know that. And you've got to understand, that party you are investigating has close ties with our editor. Plus... They've got a lot of supporters. Powerful ones at that. Uh-oh. Sounds like trouble. You and I may lose our jobs because of it. Can't we just focus on that story about Kaliningrad instead? Do you really value your job more than telling the truth? The elections are right around the corner and these guys have been leading the polls! We have to bring the truth to light, Adie. I don't care if it costs us viewers, sponsors, or even my job. Isn't this the reason we got into this industry in the first place? But listen, even if you finish your report, the network won't air something negative about them. I don't need the network. Look, I gotta go. We'll talk tomorrow, okay? Gotta go make me self a- Oh, I was gonna go make a snack, but I guess I'll leave. Hey, Zoe? Are you avoiding me now? Oh, she's gonna do some late night investigating. Ugh. She could at least have said goodbye. Hostile lobby, Kiel, Germany. Hey, only Adair is sad. I'm sorry, Adair. Looks like Adie hasn't arrived yet. Oh, let me check out that equip, my dude. Uh, stray cat. No, is it for Lin? Oh, stray cat. Six attack, two agi, two luck. Q keychain from Lynn's favorite cartoon. Well, why the hell not? Ha! That luck, though! <laughs> it hurts. Uh, give the luck to. Uh, plastic soldier's good, though. You know what? I want the crit instead. I. Well, maybe luck isn't crit. I don't know what luck does in this game. I can't remember. Is it in my notes? Or no, 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 no. Body targeting, no, no. No. Uh, let me save that real quick on Ya. Save progress. Yeah. Let's save it here. Because maybe I want to check out their stories as well one day. But not today. Uh, I can't talk. Oh, wait, no, you're American. You said that it is tomorrow. Tomorrow is today, unless it was late last night and today is today. You know what I mean? Shouldn't go up there. 
But there, she probably thought it wasn't worth her time. What should we do then? Should we get going? It's already noon. We hope you enjoy your stay. Uh, I did. Should we leave? Oh, you're late. Oh, we thought you weren't... Guys, guys, have you seen Zoe? Uh-oh. Uh-oh! So she's not here either. Did something happen? Zoe and I were supposed to meet like an hour ago. I've been trying to call her, but she's not answering her phone either. And she's usually punctual. I asked around the office, but it looks like we were the last people to see her. I don't know where else she could be. After we left the pub, did she tell you where she was going? She went home. We even chatted a bit during the night. I haven't checked her apartment yet, though. I know this is a big favor to ask of you, but could you guys come with me? I'm starting to get really worried. Sure. I think it will be better if we tag along. Let's go. Thank you. Hey, it's join the party. I got my translator back. Let's go to her apartment. She lives in the city center, building 315, apartment 303. I'm on it. Let's go. We can check out the rest of the city, though. It's daytime. Is morning time? Uh, and then we can talk to you. Hey, do you want to give Astro Man a hug? Yay, Astro Man! Cool. Uh, nothing's different from here, right? Yeah, it's the same peeps. He's probably investigating this dude and trouble happened. There's nothing else here. Oh god, I'm so late to the meeting. Should I take a taxi? At this point, I'm sure I'll get fired. I mean, that was yesterday. Today is today. I'll help you with your meeting. Elections are just around the corner. I can't believe the NSB is leading the polls. Why do you keep talking about that as if I cared? Okay. I should go inside. Let's see if we can help this man's out. Hey, there's- Hey! It's you! Bro. Oh, it's not you. The best thing that could happen to members of the NSB would be if we started a war with our neighboring countries. No, man. What's not the answer? That's her apartment. Let's, uh, not go there. Oh, hi! We're organizing a charity event to welcome refugees from Kaliningrad. We will be collecting clothes and food in case you want to donate something. And we will also have speakers talking about their experience. Right now, we're looking for volunteers to help promote the event. Would you mind giving us a hand? Sure. Sounds great. We'd love to help. Awesome, thanks. Look, right now we need help throwing some flyers around town. Maybe you can hand these out to people passing by? Would that be okay? Sure. When you're done with these flyers, come see me. Four flyers added to the inventory. Uh, what can you do? Quest, what can you do? I like that there's mini quests, like side stuff that helps you learn a little bit more about the story. Spread the word, hand these flyers out to people passing through the city center. Okay. Hey, have you heard the good word? Hi. Would you be interested in attending a charity event for refugees? Oh, sure. I'll check it out. One flyer, y'all. Hey, would you be interested? Oh, no. I already have plans. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Hey, hey, uh, hey. Would you be interested? Sounds interesting. I'll consider it. Hey, madams. Would you be interested? Sorry, not interested. Puzzle girl. Shouldn't bother them. Hey! Would you be interested? 
please don't. I'm not interested. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, all right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, she's busy. Uh, hey, would you be interested in going to a charity event? Thank you, looks cool. Hell yeah. Hey, would you? Refugees? I might check it out, thanks. Hey, all right, we did it. Hey, man, so we did it. By the way, the event is about to begin. You should come. Yeah, why not? Sure, let's go. The investigation in the missing person can wait, I guess. Wow, I didn't expect so many people to come. Yeah, considering they had less than a day to organize everything. This is amazing. I'm glad to see there are people who care. I... I hope this can help Arena and the kids in some way. Sorry to butt in, but I heard that an acquaintance of yours is currently in one of the refugee camps. Is that correct? Uh... Yes, the four of us came from there. Oh, I'm so sorry you had to go through such a difficult situation. Would you like to talk about your experience on stage? Me? I don't know if I should. Lots of people had it worse than me. I think they would appreciate to hear the testimony of someone who was actually there. Alright, I'll do it. But I want you to join me on stage work. You did a lot for our people, and it should be known. What? N no way! I can't talk in front of so many people. Very grateful to have two brave survivors join us today. Both of them will share their stories regarding yesterday's events. Please give a warm welcome to Ivan and Rourke. The crowd seems to be intrigued. Hello everyone, my name is Ivan Cherovatenko, and I've been living in Kaliningrad for about five years now. Before I start, I want to take this opportunity to thank you all for coming today. The town we come from is located several kilometers from the capital of Kaliningrad, and it's a place where very little happens. It is certain that yesterday's events will leave a mark on our history. Now, I do not wish to focus on the damage they did to us, nor refer to the material things we lost, no matter how hard it may be to stop thinking about it. I feel that the best thing we can do in this situation is to make use of these kinds of demonstrations, like what you are doing right now, as a catalyst to combat those who try to harm us. These acts of empathy will let them know that no matter how hard they try, they will never crush our spirit. We hope to be able to return to our country soon, and we thank you for the support the people of Germany has given us. The audience seems moved by Ivan's speech. Wow, very well spoken. Now, time for the train wreck. Rourke, it's your turn. Uh, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, hello? Is this thing on? say after that? Why did I agree to this? I feel a great deal of guilt and sorrow. I've never been good with words. I've never been good with words. I'm not good with words, but I hope that my story manages to convey how I felt yesterday. The only way to escape was to face our enemies. I felt like I needed to do something. Couldn't let them die. Like, all of us are well aware that death is part of our life, but it's a thought we tend to brush aside as much as possible. And now being here in front of you, I feel that I have to do something so that every life lost has not been in vain. That's why even now, we have to keep fighting. 
We have to fight. We have to move on and face those responsible for bringing everyone so much pain. Because there's no excuse and no forgiveness for those crimes. Oh crap. And if we let them go unpunished, there's no reason to think they couldn't strike again. That's my commitment to those held in the camps today, waiting for justice to be brought. And I'd like you to help them, because it's not something we can do alone. No one seems to have enjoyed Rourke's speech. There's an awkward silence. SHIT! No! Phew, we barely made it into our goal. Ivan, your speech was amazing. Thank you for taking the time to speak in front of everyone. And, oh, and Rourke, uh... Thank you for handing out the flyers. Oh god, no! My morale! I can't... I can't let it end like this! My morale's okay, but I'm not down with that. Okay. I don't know if I should be... Let's do this. We'll save on two different spots. Because it looked like there was a spot open for when I could do that. mini quest so maybe I need Zoe there as well or if having Zoe there would help let's talk to some beeps what's wrong with this world you turn on the TV and the only thing you see are bad news everywhere <sighs> elections are not far away and lots of refugees are coming here I hope the candidates don't take advantage of them for their campaigns I shouldn't bother them okay so this is her joint let's go in and see if we can find her 303 is the last one. Huh? Do you live here? I don't think I've seen you before. Whoa! That's a cool little moonwalk you did. This person ain't here. 301. What are you doing? She lives in apartment 303. Yeah, I heard, but there's like lots of mail there. We gotta check this. Uh. Hello? Are you looking for that girl who lives next door? I started leaving last night with her camera. I don't know where she went, though. Ow! Oh, baby! Uh... Huh? What are you doing? Investigating. N nothing What are you doing? Nothing. Uh, there's a newspaper here. It's a newspaper, but it's all wet. I guess I'd better leave it here. So I can't steal stuff while you're, uh, in this joint, right? It's locked. Okay. Thank- thank you. Thank you. Is there anything- I wonder if the interview- if my interview went live. I prefer not to turn on the TV. Zoe, are you in there? It looks like nobody's inside. She could be sleeping or wearing her headphones. I... I think I have... I think I should have a copy of her keys in my purse. Oh, thank goodness, I still have it. Place is all messed up. Zoe? No, the place looks fine. Damn it. I really hope she's not in trouble. Why would she be? She... She's been investigating a complicated matter on her own, following every lead she could find. Could it be she's meeting someone right now? She would never stand me up like that. We've been best friends for years! Sorry, I'll look around in case I can find any clues. There must be something, a, a note, a business card, an email, whatever. Let's help you with that. Alright, let me check out this news pup. Newspaper, it's from last month. Why hasn't she thrown it out yet? Photo, looks like an old photograph of Zoe and someone else. Bread. Bread. Can't look at the bread. I ain't gonna talk to you just yet. A Backstreet Boys poster? Poster. Who are these people? No. Not a Backstreet Boy. 
it's supposed to. Maybe it's One Direction. Who knows? Hello. I'm afraid I haven't found anything useful yet. Have you found anything? There's a camera. A small camera. It's covered in dust. So it looks like it hasn't been used in a while. Drawings. There might be something on our computer. We should take a look. It's locked. Zoe, where are you? There's probably something in here, but it's asking me for a password. Let's give it a try anyway. Authentication failed. Wrong password. Huh. Let me see. Nope. Wrong again. Should we try with a date or a name? Let's try her birthday. Ugh. Wrong again. Could it be her hometown? Nothing. We should keep looking. We might find something here that could give us a clue. Alright, let's keep looking. It's the picture. It's a picture of Zoe with someone else. That's her older brother. They were pretty close. Oh, I see. She looks a bit different here, though. Yeah, I think this picture was taken during his farewell party from years ago. He's living overseas now. He was really upset after he left. He's the only family member she hasn't cut ties with. F forget that last part. Uh, uh, okay. I think there's something written on the back of this photo. It looks like a date. 11-10-2010. Could this be the password? Let's try this for a password. Man! Listen! I'm just that good! Yes! I'm in! Hmm. There's a message from last night. It's written in German, but there's a date on it. Miz. You make me feel old. Please, call me Adie. Wait, what is that? Industry Shreestrub 42 22 23 HW Hearst one some it's the the guy That's an address, right? Yes, and I know the area, but it's not the kind of place you'd meet with someone. It's an industrial zone. If she really is in danger, we shouldn't waste more time here. We might be able to get more information if we go to that location. Can you take us there? Sure, we can get there using the subway. There's a station right outside of this building. Cool. That's cool. That's cool. Let me save that. Yeah. Hosta. Yeah. Progress has been saved. Hurst Weber, HW. Uh, let me see if I can f fix that charity event. I changed my mind. I figured I'm pretty sure she can come to that spot, and the guy says I can do this maybe later. I don't want to take too long and have her get, uh, you know, indebted. So, I'm gonna go and find her. But I'll do that in the next episode, so thank you everybody. Thank you for joining me. And I'll be back again with some more Long Gone Days.